All right, let's finish this off. Shall we? I think female's getting a bit sleepy as well. Yep, she is. Well, that booby. Amazing. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zepho once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zepho homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. Well, there you go. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. <laughs> You know, I've been alone for a while now, without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live, not for a Jedi or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine? <laughs> Zepho! New objective, alright. Time to head on back. They say, hey, we found this little droid. Got coordinates. And stuff. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. And another frog. That's all I had to do. Oof. Oh. BD1! 
one. Embarrassing. Things. All I had to do was counterattack it. Anyway, that's his FO. He's biggin. I'm a big boy. That's a dinosaur. Mysterious skeleton, eh? Hmm. Whee! Abandoned workshop. Lame. Opening. Lame. Nothing. My friend, it appears the Cepho had some interest in death up here. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Hey, and we're back here. Just gonna take the heal there. Well, and we've come full cycle. Apparently there's a way over there. With wall jumping. And grab that at the end. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. I forget what's over there, but I think it's good stuff. I don't believe you can make this jump. Also, one of these... Might actually be that one. Opens up to where he was chilling. Might be over there somewhere. Cause there's those guys. I don't know how to get over to them. Yeah. It's right under us. Not that we can see him. But he's in there. Actually, that might do it. We are almost... Yeah, you can't make that jump, though. It's the only problem. There's something over there. There's... 
Something. Back over here. Oh god. Alright. You really... I guess you can. Let's go down here and try. There it is. I don't know that I've been over here. You can almost get over to him. I bet that guy would kill you in one chomp, though. But I don't... Oh! I know where we're at. I doubt we can do anything here, but... Oh, maybe we can. Stim crate. Should be here. Wait, can you carry more? Thanks, BD1. Oh, I think I missed this the first time. And by I think, I mean I totally missed this the first time. Look at that. Because, yeah, then you, yep. Alright. Wow. Yeah, I totally missed that the first time. So one of the places we'll go... I mean, obviously, you pick up more little health thingies. So, I did have three, but I didn't get that one, that's for sure. Alright. Now, there's a thing over there we can look at, and I believe that's all we can do for now. Which is fine. Hello, friends. Goodbye, friends. Ooh, I didn't mean like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ooh. That was spicy. I think I did a fairly good job of exploring everything that we could explore at the moment. I don't know that I missed much. He was legit floating on the wall there. Oh, uh -huh. hey there, little guy. I don't know that I did this the last time I played either. Yeah, we can't do anything with that. It looks like another stem crate. Yeah, we can't do anything with that right now either. But now it's going to show up on the map. Ah, oh, we'll be able to come back here almost. Well, I'm gonna do the. Well, I'll show you guys when we get back to the ship here before I end the uh, the stream because we're about to end the stream. Right, let's go talk to uh, old gal. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of Batoli weed fabric? Not really. Oh. I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. 
A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. <sighs> the next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Looks Who's like the, the thing from the first Thor movie that freezes people. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. Come on, you knew he's gonna With make a cameo. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? Cutting deep, game. We're in. <laughs> Dathomir Zepho, it's your choice. Wow, she teleported. Before we do that, though, we got a seed. Hey, Grease, what's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy, but you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embarring glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Side quest, and just trying to wrap all this up. Boop. So we didn't get any colors, because I don't know if you get colors. Um, but we unlocked that ugly thing, which is like Yoda's one, for some reason. I don't know. It's pretty ugly. I mean, that part's not bad, right? We can go with that. That's not bad either. There you go. Yeah, I still like that one. That was good. Wow. I want a lightsaber. It'd be fun to have. Uh, so, yeah. We are met with choices here. Where to, kid? That's where we're at. That's where our story objective is. And this is a uh, side place. We're gonna go to the side place first. Because uh, there's goodies to be had. Again, the side place would be easier if we did it later, but we're gonna do it first. So, hopefully not get my butt stomped like we did with that stupid frog. But, you gotta parry. Parry's the name of the game. Like, don't... Don't be scared of parrying, you dope. 
Jeez. Just let me know when you want to go. Uh, so let me know who your favorite character is so far. Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes. But instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay. I'll keep trying. BD1, keep an eye on Cal for us. If you get down, you can talk to BD1. Well, when you're out and about, anyway. Um, I'll give you hints if you get stuck on puzzles and stuff, I guess. So yeah, thanks for watching our first little uh, foray into Star Wars Fallen Order, courtesy of the Bezos. Well, I guess not anymore because he's not in charge. But uh, yeah, they uh, they gave it for free, so I was like, sure, I'll take sixty dollar a game, especially since you're raising your price. So there you go. Uh, when we come back, we'll be on Dathomir. And it is very red. I don't know if you noticed. But it's a red planet. Which obviously means it's evil. <laughs>